Good morning, families. Um, it's lovely to see you. I know it's very, very early with the clocks going forwards. I hope that hasn't caught any of you out. If it has, you can just watch this again at some other time. So it's all good. Um, it's really, really lovely to have you. Uh, it's it's going to be a great morning. We've got all sorts of things lined up for you this morning, including Bobby and um, some worship and a story and some prayers and some little input from lots of kids saying what joy is. So our theme is joy. Now, I tell you something that has given me a little bit of joy this week, um, and don't tell Dave Roderick, um, but we love Joe Wicks. Yay, hands up for Joe Wicks. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun. I am a bit achy because of Joe Wicks, but it has been great fun. So we are thinking about joy. Um, it is a fruit of the spirit, which actually means that it's God's character to be joyful. And it's what he wants to grow in all of us. He wants us to become joyful because he is joyful and he knows how important it is to be able to hold on to some of his joy when life is really, really tough. Um, and maybe life's been a bit tough this week or maybe it's been quite fun. And maybe you've done all sorts of things you haven't done before. And maybe just hanging out with mum and dad has been great um, and seeing a bit more of, um, yeah, siblings if you've got them. Um, I hope you've had a good week. And anyway, on to what we've got. So I know that some of us have probably um, been a bit sad this week, or maybe we've even seen mum or dad or our grown up be a bit sad. And maybe some of us have actually felt a bit sad this week. That's okay. Sadness is fine. We all feel a bit sad. There's lots of sadness in the Bible. But I think this morning we're going to just think about God's joyfulness and that even though he's feel, even if we are feeling a bit sad, there's something about knowing God that helps in that and he can sort of sometimes um, grow some joy where there's been some sadness. Just so you know what's coming up, we have got a few things, I've got them all down here so I'm just going to read them off here just so I don't get the order all wrong. So first of all we're going to have some worship with the Glovers, so Matt and Sarah are going to do a song of worship. And then Claire and her kids are going to do a story about a time when um, Paul was in prison. So we're going to hear that and see that. Then we've got Bobby talking to us again. And then um, I'm going to show you some clips of what some of you kids have been sending in about what brings you joy, which has been so great to see. Thanks for that. And... Um, Ella and I, my daughter and I, have done some craft. So we're going to share some craft ideas for you. So you may want to get some things ready for that if you want to pause it. I don't know. Um, some paper, something to make a rainbow, something to make a book with. So we're going to do making rainbows and joke books. Um, and then we're going to have some prayers again and then I'll say goodbye at the end. So I don't know how long it will take. We'll find out. Um, so I hope you enjoy this morning.
today our fruit of the spirit that we're thinking about is joy so we're going to tell you a little story now once upon a time there was a man called paul and he was stuck in prison now prisons weren't very nice they were full of rats oh, you're right. And they were probably pretty damp and soggy places. <laughs> but Paul was amazing. He always managed to still be full of joy. He did this because every day he prayed to God and he tried and worshipped God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. <laughs> but Paul, while he was in prison, managed to write some brilliant words. We can find these words in the book of Philippians. This is what Paul wrote. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Fantastic. What amazing words. So our family challenge this week for us is that we're going to try and pray to God and we're going to try and <laughs> worship God. Can you not escape? <laughs> A little bit every day <laughs> and see if that helps us be full of joy Bye. so now we have got some lovely um pictures and clips of kids talking about what brings them joy what's brought them joy this week or what generally brings them joy and happiness and that is just going to be lovely to share rabbits and cheese give me joy but i only eat the cheese not the rabbits hello <laughs> i swear and I made a pizza, and I ate it, and my birthday's in August, and I made a pizza. Love makes me feel really happy. I, I get joy from my mum because she's always very lovely and she loves me. The sun's made me happy this week because it means it's nice weather so you can go outside in the garden. What, what gives us joy is chocolate! I like Ninja magazines, they make me happy. Easy Yum Kid, Baby Buns, Fruity Kids, Cupcakes, Never Gem, Strawberry Shockies, Devil Apple Pie, Mother Cheese, Chocolate Loaf, Rookie Bird, and East Mace make me feel happy. Hi, we are doing our craft for Children's Church. Um, we've got two crafts actually this morning. We've got a rainbow um, idea and we've got a joke book idea. But we're going to start with the rainbow. Now, Ella and I have been making this rainbow and we know that lots of you have been making rainbows as well because I've seen some of your photographs and you've been sticking them in your windows and lots of kids have been doing this and it has been bringing a lot of joy. I've seen them as I've been out walking, they're great. So we thought as we're thinking about joy this morning, it's one of the fruits of the spirit, what God wants to grow in us and it's just such a great thing to think about um, at the minute. Um, we thought that a rainbow would be a great thing to do this morning. So um, we have made one. Now we have done lots of little tissue paper um, bits and pieces. Oh my goodness, I feel like such a Blue Peter presenter right now. Uh, anyway, we have made lots of um, scraps of tissue paper and we've done our rainbow and I have to confess that it turns out that I didn't actually know the order of colours in the rainbow, but I do now. Thankfully, Ella and Joseph were at hand and helped me out with this. So we've been making this. Um, here's one we sort of made earlier. It's looking very beautiful. Uh, thanks, Ella. She's been a great help. So um, a rainbow is a really lovely thing to think about at the minute because it really speaks of God's promises. God's promised to be with us these next few days. Um, back in the day of Noah, God used the rainbow to, to tell everyone that of his promises and we're so grateful for God for his promises and he'll be with us he's promised never to leave us and he'll look after us 
through this time ahead and he'll look after us every single day and we're really grateful about that and that's what a rainbow is all about. Now if you don't want to do a rainbow, if you think I've done that, you don't need to do a rainbow. You could do anything you like and stick that on your window to bring people joy or you could stick some of your pictures you made for me and send them in, put them on your window. So what I think would be a good idea is you could get all your crafts things out maybe, I hope this is okay with you grown-ups, um, and maybe you could be doing this while all the grown-ups are going to be listening to their service, the grown-up service, in a little bit. So that might be a good thing to do. Anyway, should we show them our picture? Okay, here we go. Yay! That looks good and I've written on Joy, so you can get going with that. Um, and I'd love to see your pictures, so do photograph them and um, let me see them, that'd be really lovely. Okay, so we'll put that down. Now, we thought maybe if you didn't want to do a rainbow, if you think, if you're a bit older and you think actually maybe I'd rather do something else, we thought that a joke book would be a really good way to spread a bit of joy in your families. Now, this isn't just for the kids, this is for the grown-ups as well. You can write some jokes in your kids' um, joke books and we can all share some funny jokes and that would cheer us all up as well. So, Ella. So, in true blue do Peter fashion. Here's one I made earlier. So I've done the design on the front and of course you could do it however you'd like. So I've got just a piece of card as a cover. I've also cut up lots of bits of paper and hole punched them all and threaded it with a bow to make a little book. And you and your family can have fun writing in each other's books. So here's a joke that I've written. Okay, okay. Why do they play card games in the jungle? I don't know. Why don't they play card games in the jungle? There are too many cheaters. Oh, cheaters. Cool. Oh, I've got one for you. Okay, so knock, knock, joke. So, are you ready? Knock, knock. Who's that? Mikey. Mikey who? I lost my key, so I can't get in. That's so funny. <laughs> Bye! So that's it for Children's Church this week. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Um, I know we haven't been together, but I hope you have felt that we've been in some way connected and that that's been good. Um, families, I hope you've enjoyed it together. Um, so I just wanted to say, uh, I hope you have a, some joy in this week ahead. Um, next week, we'll be thinking about peace. So I know some of our tummies have been feeling quite wobbly this week and not feeling very peaceful. So next week we'll really focus in on peace and God's gift of peace to us and how he wants to grow that in us. Um, so just the heads up on the craft for next week, do collect some junk modeling so that you'll have that ready. We're gonna do something with junk modeling and also we're gonna make something out of origami. So if you don't have any origami paper, that's absolutely fine. If you just get a piece of paper, sort of a square piece of paper, that kind of size, bring that along and um, look forward to um, being with you next week. I hate to disappoint you, but Nathan's music was blasting through all of that. But just turn it off, it'll do. We'll no, just watch it and fine. see. Watch it and see. I did Nathan's say. Nathan's music has been blasting through, I can hear it.